Hey kids, welcome to Celebration Kids Online. I'm Pastor Robbie, And I'm Miss Talia. And we are so excited you're here with us today. We've got an awesome morning ready for you, don't we? Yeah, we do. People of screaming. And some shouting. And some dancing. And some singing. But you know what the best part's gonna be? Why don't you tell them? We're gonna go on an adventure in God's big story, the Bible. Oh, I'm so excited. And today we're gonna learn something amazing. We're going to be learning that Jesus is the best gift. Can you guys do that at home with us? Nice and loud. Are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I am ready. All right, one, two, three. Jesus is the best gift. You guys did awesome, weren't they great? Yeah, they were. No, I think you guys are still a little bit sleepy though, because I, uh, so I think we should wake up a little bit. You know what one of my favorite ways to do that is? With some games. Do you guys like games? Awesome. How about you, Miss Talia? Do you like games? I like games. All right. So let's head on over to game time. Wow, you guys did amazing, weren't they great? They were. Now, I think you guys are nice and ready, so I think we should get this morning started. And one of my favorite ways to kick it off is by shouting nice and loud together. Do you guys like to shout? How about you, Miss Talia? I like shouting. All right, well today we're gonna shout out our five values, the five things we all need to live a life that celebrates Jesus. So if you know them, say them nice and loud with us. And if you don't, this is the perfect time to learn because they're gonna show up right down here on your screen. All right, are you guys ready? You ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. Okay, so our first value is love, love God. God. We love God because he first loved us. Our second value is love, love people. people. 
We love people because God loves all people. And our third value is, do, do your best. best. We do our best because God deserves our best. And our fourth value is, celebrate. celebrate. Because life with Jesus always is worth celebrating. And our fifth and final value is, flow, flow with grace. grace. Because God gives us grace, we can show grace to others. Wow, you guys did amazing. Weren't they awesome? They were awesome. So if you guys were sitting down, you're gonna wanna hop up to your feet because we have a special visitor here to see you. It's our friend, Pyro! Pyro! Hey dude, dude, that was your cue. I'll go find him. Okay, I'll hang out here with you guys. Oh, there you are, Pyro. How's it going, buddy? Guys, it's our friend Pyro here to see you all. So, are you, are you, do you guys all know Pyro's signature move? All right, let's practice it together then, guys. You ready? All right, so stand up nice and tall, and now we're all gonna crouch down as low as we can go. Then on the count of three, we're gonna jump up and scream as loud as we can. Let's celebrate. You guys ready? One, two, three. Let's celebrate! Wow, that was good, but you know what? I, I think they could be a little bit louder. Right, Pyro? All right, guys, let's try it a little bit louder. Are you ready? Okay, let's all crouch down nice and low. One, two, three. Let's celebrate! Great job, guys. Oh, do you gotta get going, Pyro? Okay, everyone say bye to our friend Pyro. Bye, Pyro. I couldn't find him anywhere. Well, you know what? Funny story, you actually just missed him. What, really? Ugh. I know, happens to me all the time. Bummer. But you know what? You're in time for my favorite part of the morning. Are you guys ready for an exciting adventure in God's big story, the Bible? Are you ready? Oh, exciting. What story is it? Well, Christmas has come and gone. Ugh. So I figured it would be best if we, you know, wrap up our Christmas stories by looking at one last Christmas story from the Bible. Oh, exciting. What story is it? Well, this is the story of when some very special visitors came to meet Jesus. And you know what? I think this is gonna be the perfect way for us to learn our lesson for today. Do you remember what we're learning? Of course. That Jesus is the best gift. Awesome. Can you guys do that with us at home? Nice and loud. You ready? All right. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the best gift gift. Okay, so now let's hand it over to our friends Holly and Jolly for our Christmas story. Same, but let's worry about that after. First, we have to find that baby king. Wait! Who are you? Uh-oh. I think they saw us. Everyone freeze? Uh-oh. I think they saw us. You think? Who are you? You're dressed pretty strangely. Oh, well, we're just some elves out on some... We're just ordinary people who are... Oh, enjoying this pleasant Bethlehem day. They definitely don't seem stable. <laughs> I agree. Let's just back away. Did I hear you guys were looking for a uh, baby king? That we are! Have you seen him? Actually, we just came from there. Whoa, you think you can point us in the right direction? We sure can! He's the most remarkable baby. We know. We follow the star weeks coming from the east to meet him. Wow, you looked for him for weeks? Yeah, we've come to meet. This king has saved the world! We have come and worshipped him with gifts. You brought gifts? Of course we did. Expensive gold and incense. Gifts for a king. Wow, that's some really expensive gifts for a new baby. Nothing compared to the gift the baby is. What do you mean? 
We have a lot of stuff, but you know what stuff can't do? Stuff can't save the world. Stuff can't give you hope, peace, or joy. And it definitely can't love you. Well, I guess that's true. The all the stuff the world offers is nothing compared of the gift of meeting the king. Wow. Wow. Well, go meet him then. He's over there. Thank you, strangers. Well, that was quite an adventure. I just can't help but wonder what happens in that kid's life. I mean, he's only a few days old, and the world is already a, a different place because of him. True. The rest of his story must be amazing. Oh, the boss is calling. Wait, that call isn't coming from the North Pole? Not him, the big boss. Oh boy. You must have gotten our report already. Hey, Professor. Holy jolly, yes. I am so pleased with your report. Thank you for helping unpack the mystery of the Messiah a little bit more for our kids. Glad to play our part. You know, Professor, this Jesus, he must have done some amazing things in his life. Probably worth investigating. As a matter of fact, I already have one of our expert team of explorers on the job. Great. So, should we come back to base, or are we good to head home? I'm kind of warm out here. Well, head on home then. The two of you deserve a break. The next time that the agency needs to deploy you, we will give you a call. Have a very Merry Christmas. Wow, that was amazing. Yes, it was so awesome. Jesus is amazing. I can't believe those kings traveled so far and gave such expensive gifts to baby Jesus. Because even though they had like all sorts of money and expensive things and power, they still knew that, the, that Jesus was worth way more. Wow, so either I have a lot like the kings or a little like the shepherds, Jesus is still the most important thing I have? Exactly, because if you have Jesus in your life, then you have everything you could ever need because Jesus is the best gift. Can you guys do that with us at home one more time? All right, nice and loud, you guys ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is the, the best, best gift. We just learned that Jesus is the best gift. Do you know why Jesus is the best gift? Well, it's because God is good and he loves me. Can you say that with me at home? Nice and loud. You ready? Okay, one, two, three. God is good and he loves me. It's so true. God is so good and he loves you so much. That's the whole reason Jesus came. See, Jesus came to show us who God is, that God is good and that he loves us. But then Jesus, he, he died on the cross to get rid of all of your sin because that's how much God loves you. What is sin? Sin is that selfish stuff inside of us that makes us wanna do things our own way, live like we're our own God. And it always leads to us hurting ourselves and others. And it breaks our friendship with God. But Jesus died on the cross to get rid of all of our sin for everyone who trusts in him. And then Jesus even came back from the dead with brand new life so that everyone who trusts and follows him could have brand new life too. Life where God's own spirit comes to live inside of us, to lead us, to guide us, and to be our friend. Isn't that awesome? He is the best gift we could ever get. Now some of you know this, you follow Jesus, but some of you, you're hearing this for the first time, or you've heard this all before, but it's never really made sense to you. And today, you want to follow Jesus. If that's you, then pray along with me, out louder in your heart. This is just between you and God. But say something like this. Father God, thank you so much for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to get rid of all of my sin. I turn from my sin 
and turn to you. Thank you for Jesus' resurrection that brings me brand new life. Thank you for your spirit that comes to lead me and guide me and be my friend. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, congratulations, you're a part of Jesus' family. That's the best decision you could ever make. So tell everyone you know, your friends, your family, your parents, your grandparents, you let us know too, so that we can celebrate with you and help you take some next steps in your new adventure with Jesus. All right, now, in just a moment, we're all gonna jump up to our feet and celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing. But first, I would love to pray for all of you. Something I like to do when someone's praying for me is hold my hands out like this and close my eyes as a way of reminding my mind and my body that I'm listening for what the Holy Spirit might wanna say through someone's prayers. Are you ready? Father God, thank you so much for these amazing kids. God, I thank you that you love them, and that you made them on purpose with a purpose. God, I pray you would help them know the purpose for their life. God, I pray that you would help them to know your love. Holy Spirit, that you would make yourself real to them. Help them to see what a great gift you are, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, hop up to your feet because we're gonna celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing. So much fun. But the morning might be done, but our fun is not over yet. So if you want to keep finding fun ways for you and your family to continue exploring God's big story at home together, well then follow us on the Celebration Kids Instagram page. So I guess this is it for today. Until we see you next, let's celebrate!